They jump in to pick up the diamond ring stuck at the bottom of the pool, but Anna's hair gets caught in the suction. As they are about to remove it, it is the closing time of swimming pool. Leo, the janitor, sees that no one is left and closes the pool's cover. Looking at the soon-to-be sealed cover, Amy had to grab Anna by the scalp and pull her hair up. They hurriedly swam toward the water but still missed it. It was Friday and Leo came home from work early. At this point, Amy found a piece of plastic sheet with broken cracks could be used as a saw blade. Anna also find a gap in the cover. If it is widened, they can get out. Amy put the plastic sheet into the gap to rub, but did not expect that the cover would be tough, never able to widen the gap. Luckily, a cleaner came to clean it late at night. Looking at the wallet on the shore, Susan thought it was a lucky day and looked through it to see if any belongings had been left. Hearing their cries for help, Susan asks for the bank card password. They scolded Susan for this behavior, but Susan did not get angry, but helped them turn on the switch of the chiller. The cold air frowns them to shiver. After a long time, they finally couldn't stand the torture and were ready to tell Susan the password. Anna pretended to be allergic to the air and told her in a weak voice on purpose. When Susan was close to the hole, she picked up a plastic plate and poked her vigorously. Listening to Susan's painful screams, they were very pleased, thinking that this greedy cleaner would surely leave the place as soon as possible. But instead of running away, Susan became even more deranged. She entered the motor room and activated the pool's sanitizing system, ready to teach them a lesson.